Dear Dave and T.A., when the Bible says we are to love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, wouldn't that include worshiping Him with our senses? Since that is a major part of what the emerging church movement is all about, that is, encouraging us to worship God with our creativity, our art, our dance, and so forth, how can you complain about such activities? Dave, uh, I've been hearing this more and more, especially since the September article dealt with the emerging church. And, uh, you know, I love talking to young people about that. And it's, it's like they have a zeal. They, they want more of God, many that I talk to. And they want to utilize the, the gifts, the talents that they've had. They want to uh, be involved in churches that are caring for others, that are community, that are uh, you know, that where you have conversation, where you're challenging issues and, and so on and so forth. But the main thing is they want to use uh, their senses to worship God. Now, now what, what's wrong with that? Well, God is not a physical being. Uh, he's not impressed with our art. In fact, uh, what kind of art are you going to use? You're forbidden to make... And to attempt some kind of a physical representation of God. Well, many of these emerging churches use icons, which is really, if they knew the history of it, these are divination devices. But, but go ahead. This is what, like Richard Foster mm-hmm. would teach. You've got to get in touch with Jesus. You've got to visualize him. This is like Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits. He introduced visualization as a... Well, really, an occult practice. So you got a visible, some visible or some sound or whatever it is uh, that's going to draw you closer to God. I was speaking at this, Tom, at Arrowhead Springs many years ago, and a pastor came up to me afterwards, and he says— This was the headquarters of Campus Crusade, for those that don't know that. and he came up to me and said, well, I mean, you don't know what you're talking about because when I pray, I visualize myself in the presence of God. And I find I get a, a much closer feeling, a sense of being in his presence and so forth. And, and I said, well, now how are you going to visualize yourself in the presence of God? Scripture says God dwells in a light that no man can approach unto, whom no man hath seen nor can see. Uh, now, what is the purpose? What, what, what are you visualizing? Whatever you're visualizing, it is not the presence of God, that's for sure. And to whatever extent it makes you feel closer to God, mm-hmm. you have been deceived. So God is not impressed with, uh, look, this is called a, uh, it's a fetish, it's a divination device. All of these things that people imagine they can use, the witch doctors use them Mm -hmm. uh, in order to get in touch with the spirit world, to open the door. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's purely experiential. In other words, they're they're, uh, going to their feelings to somehow feel closer to God, to their emotions and so on. Now, Now, Dave... We have emotions. We have feelings with regard to God, but but it's we don't go there first. That's a byproduct, seems to me, of truth, right. of God's Word, of getting to know Him through the Word of God. A- Amen. But it can involve exultation. It can involve, wow, an ecstatic experience even. I remember I was a very close friend of Richard Wormbrandt, and I remember him telling me, uh, in fact, I introduced him to Bill Bright at, at a Campus Crusade headquarters. I remember him telling me, he's being tortured so badly you couldn't bear it. Red hot poker driven into his flesh, you know. He still had the holes that had been burned there. But he said sometimes the presence of Christ was so powerful Mm-hmm. that he just danced for joy in the cell. Mm-hmm. Now, he didn't conjure that up. No. This was the grace of God. This was... He wasn't dancing, for, he wasn't dancing in order to get in touch with God. Right, right. That's the, really an important thing with regard to the emerging right. church and the way they are approaching these things. That's why we think it's dead wrong. This is a very important point you're, you're making, Tom. If 
I'm using some technique to get in touch with God. That's a problem. For example, if we went to Jeremiah 42, mm-hmm. the, 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 well, they're disobedient, they're rebels, and they have no intention of doing what God says, but they say to Jeremiah, go to your God and get a word from the Lord for us. Now, Jeremiah didn't get a crystal ball. He didn't put his hand on the third eye in his forehead. He, he didn't go into a meditative state. He didn't try to visualize. Very interesting. It says, after 10 days, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah saying, not a prophet in the Bible ever did anything to get in touch with God. But when he is in touch with God, Moses' face shines as he comes down. Um, so you make a very good point. I don't do something to get in touch with God. Now, if I'm inspired to write a poem or a hymn after I, I've been reading God's Word and I come to some new under, a deeper understanding, this is what we need. Mm-hmm. Solomon said, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. But much of the songs we're getting and, and the sort of things that are going on, and of course, you've, depict, you've shown them on, from the Internet, the images and so forth, mm-hmm. that's not wisdom. That's the very uh, antithesis of it. Well, David, and, it's worse than that. Mm-hmm. As we've been talking, this is what this series has been about. We have Christians thinking they can use yogic techniques to draw closer to God, to, to get to know Jesus better, to, to experience him. Right. Yoga, come on. <laughs> and Thomas says, with all you're getting, get understanding. Yes. You don't get understanding through a, a false visualization mm-hmm. of the presence of God. You get understanding through the word of God. The, the entrance of thy word giveth light. Yeah. But these people are not out for understanding. They want feelings. Experiences, exactly. For more information about the Berean Call, call us toll-free at our order number or visit our website 